it has been almost about three weeks since I done or I finished my 3.4 swap. When I did my 3.4 swap, I installed the O2 sensor, the old O2 sensor that originally came from the Forerunner. I didn't know what the condition was, if it was still good or bad. But I installed those two O2 sensor and I drove two tanks with it. And I was getting anywhere from 11 to maybe 13 miles per gallon at the most and that was with city driving around my 400 mile mark into the swap i got a check engine light and it told me that the o2 sensor were bad the front o2 sensor so the 3.4 motor they have two o2 sensor one before the cat and then one after the cat i ended up purchasing two new o2 sensor they're the denso one so i went with the correct one and then i went with the denso brand I recommend when you guys are buying O2 sensor, I recommend you guys buy Denso or a very high quality brand. And usually Denso is the OEM manufacturer. I installed the two O2 sensor about, I wanna say a week ago. And yesterday I just filled up my gas tank and I was averaging 16 to 17 miles per gallon. That was with about 80% city driving and then 20 percent doing highway driving and i also wasn't going easy on the gas i was going you know i was driving the way i like to drive in the city so to be able to get 16 to 17 miles per gallon with the 3.4 that's super amazing on 33 inch tires and also my stock gearing which is 456 if it would have been my 3.0, I would have been getting, uh, on my 3.0 actually, when I still had my 3.0 in here, I was getting maybe 13 to 14 miles per gallon. And then on the highway, when I do strictly highway on the 3.0, I do get about maybe 16 to 17 miles per hour, miles per gallon. Because when I had the 3.0, I was using cruise control a lot. Or I always use cru cruise control when I'm on the highway. So I'm very, very impressed with the I'm um, very impressed with the 3.4 motor so far with the miles per gallon. I know that when I first drove the 3.4 and got the 12 miles per gallon, I knew that wasn't correct. So I knew something was going on with my fuse system. So thankfully, it's good to change your O2 sensor. So the moral of the story is that when you're doing the 3.4 swap, I recommend you guys do a fresh O2 sensor, even if you have the old ones. Just go ahead and install new ones while you're there and man right now the truck is running amazing it runs great and uh we're going to be slowly working on new modifications the few things i want to do do this summer is i want to try to see if i can get my snorkel figure out what i want to do for a snorkel setup i also want to get a rear locker just a regular uh, spartan lunch box lock lunch box locker and then maybe next year or maybe the end of this year or winter time who knows i'll probably go ahead and find out what kind of bumper i want to go with i might just get an aftermarket trail gear two bumper and then get like a ten thousand or nine thousand pound winch synthetic so that's the setup so far really really pleased with this three four swap really enjoying this truck i love driving it it's amazing and uh i love the 33s but again like i said on my other videos we're gonna run these tires until they're finished and then after this, I might be upgrading to some 35s, but that could be another year or so. Who knows? Unless I'm finding amazing deals on 35s. But just wanted to make this quick video and give you guys an update on the Toyota Pickup 3.4 and the miles per gallon. If you guys got any questions, let me know in the comments section below. Follow the Instagram, nuttynew underscore 4x4. And I'll see you guys next time.